Okay, guys, welcome to uh, this week's Supercoach video, uh, round eight uh, wrap up video. So I scored 23 26. Uh, pretty happy with that. Um, 1%, top 1% for the week. So and we jumped up 5,000 ranks and we're now inside the top 5K, sitting at 4,822. Um, so yeah, happy with that. Um, jump into the team. I missed last week's video. Uh, I just sort of fucking ran out of time. It was like Friday before I could even start filming it, and Friday night's game had started, and I just said, ah, oh, bugger it. But, yeah, so, defense, Lloyd and Sicily, unreal. Uh, Doherty, 66, struggling at the minute for whatever reason. Laird, 97, he seems to just be cruising along. Um, so, yeah, hopefully he can sort of get some hundreds out of him. Starkovich, 48, McPherson, unreal with 90. Um, and then... Butler and Gould didn't play. Midfield, Neil, 152. Uh, captain Fife to get the Gorn vice-captain loophole. And got Marnie's 51. So got the best bench score between him and Bennell. McRae, Unreal, 169. Danger, 88. That's like his third score in the 80s, I think, this year. Uh, it's just a dog shit game. Wet. I thought it was going to suit him to a T, but anyway... Oliver Unreal, 177. Uh, Cripps, 75. I don't know what's going on with him at the moment. Um, I saw a couple of videos of him just getting manhandled, basically, at stoppages and tagged out and stuff like that, which sucks. He's probably dropped too much money to trade him, really. I'm just going to hang on to him. Hope he comes good. Pickett and Simpson. Um, yeah, like I said, got the good bench scores. Got the rookies right for the midfield. Uh, Gorn, Unreal, took his... Uh, who I can't even remember. I ended up VC and I went Gorn into danger. But I was just completely confident Gorn was going to get me a 150. So I know he just threw the captain on him. But yeah, and had the Fife loophole option, so I VC'd him. Grundy, 61, lost scored in donkey years. Um, yeah, so last week... Um, I did two trades. I did King out and Curtis Taylor. I think it's Curtis Taylor. I did Taylor and King out and brought in Greenwood and Bailey Smith. So they were good. Greenwood 97, Whitfield 116, and Smith 104. So I love that. Uh, Dev Smith 49. After his 200s at the start of the year, he's dropped off. Um, so I'm going to hold him for now. He doesn't have a buy. Um, so I'll just hold him over the next few weeks. Hopefully he can get back to doing what he can do. Otherwise, I'll have to readjust and probably trade him out. Rankin, 56. Uh, Georgie, Adis. I don't know how to spell that. 86. So good there, but mucked up the um, the bench scores. Buderick scored higher than Rankin and Darcy higher than... Georgities, um, would have been good to have Cameron on instead of Smith, but as if you're ever really going to run that. Um, but yeah, so let's talk to Fife, might be back, hopefully. My prediction is they rest him again this week and then he's got the buy next week and then he comes back. But trades this week, um, what I want to do, I want to get rid of Starkovic, I want to get rid of Pickett. And I want to get rid of Butterick. And for a defender, I want to just uh, get him Watson. Um, it's a bit of a risk. He might not um, play again because he was a late in. I don't know how well he played. Uh, but I don't know he's got the buy the week after. Um, and then I want to bring in Close. His spot will be safe. Uh, no Ablett, no Dalhouse. Um, and he played really good, so I'm expecting at least four weeks from, from him. Down into the forward line. And then Primo. Uh, where is he? 
Mitchie Duncan. So that's what I want to do. Um, yeah, Mitch Duncan. I talk about him all the time. Clearly, clearly my favorite player ever. But he's averaging. 107. He's made 100 in all his games so far, except for the one he got injured. Um, 1% of teams. Uh, just consistent. Had a great game last night. 148. He's really good in the wet. Um, he does... What's his break even? Where does it tell me that? Because, yeah, look, he could drop another 20K. So you could just do three downgrades this week. And um, if you want to get Duncan in, you could get him in next week. Which I might end up reversing and doing that. Um, and then next week I can go bang and get Duncan and um, Tom Stewart. So that's an option. Um, but, yeah, we'll leave it at that for now. Some other some midfield options if you're looking for people that aren't in big percentages of teams. There's Mitch Duncan, there's Jack Steele, and there's uh, Andrew Gath. All these guys are scoring really well. Um, so you can look at those three guys in your midfield. Um, my backline: Lloyd, Sicily, Doherty, Laird. Uh, Tom Stewart will come in, and then the last one will be Nick Haynes. That'll be my six uh, forward: Greenwood, Woodfield, Smith, uh, be Petrarca. Um, who else was I? Uh, Petrarca. Oh, this. Uh, Petrarca, Walters, and well, ideally Smith will come good. If not, then we'll look at swapping him out for someone else. But yeah, I want to get Petrarca and uh, Walters in. Haynes and Stewart down back. And then my last mid I want is um, Adam Trelaw, another guy that's not in a huge percentage of teams at the moment. Um, Josh Kelly, possibly. Or Adam Trelaw, Josh Kelly, or who was the other one I was thinking of? Uh, uh, oh, Tom Mitchell. Yeah, I'll, I'll keep an eye on him. And see how he's faring. But yeah, so... Ideally, we've got one, two, three, four, five spots left with six trades. 16 trades. So if you look at that, two down... So you're looking at getting full Primo in 10 trades without any injuries, hopefully. And that's keeping Dev Smith. Um, that gives me six spare, just proper luxury trades. It puts me in a really good spot. Um, so yeah, hopefully that's how it works out. Um, but yeah, tracking along pretty good. Happy with how the team's going and scoring, especially to get the score. Like I have the last couple of weeks with holding five. Like my rookies have really come through for me. Um, yeah, getting 2300 this week without Fife, I was pretty happy with that. So, uh, This week, I'm trying to look at the VC options. Oh, Gorn, 100%. Gorn plays Thursday night. So I'll VC him. Uh, Conley will play Frio. I'm going to have VC Gorn, Gorn Grundy. That is for, that's it for me. But yeah, that's how I'm looking so far. Again, if you're looking at some midfield options, guys I recommend are Duncan, Steele, Gaff. Down back, if you haven't got Stewart, Haynes. Look at those. If you haven't got Sicily, get Sicily. If you haven't got Lloyd, get Lloyd. Um, and then, yeah, down forward, Petrarca, Walters. Um, I don't have Dusty. I don't plan on getting Dusty, but if Smith doesn't come good, he could potentially be swapped for Dusty. Um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. But if you get if you want Dusty, get him. Like he's he's getting his hundreds. He's definitely um, he's definitely a good choice. It's just yeah, 
I'm hoping Smith comes good, and I'm just want yeah, Trucker and Walters as my last two. I think that's yeah. But like I said, ten trades, best case scenario, ten trades to get full Primo, and then six spare for injuries, and just luxury trades like if Cripps doesn't come good or Docky doesn't come good or Laird's dropping below. But yeah, that's it for this one. Uh, Supercoach is about to get messy. Lots of games every day. Um, so hopefully I can still get a video. I'll still get a video out a week. Um, I do like to put like funny little fucking things in my videos and stuff like those sprays and that. But it's kind of hard when you've only got like a day to film and get a video out. So I'll try get some stuff in. But yeah. Alright, thanks for watching and see you next time.